Some people ask us how important digital marketing is to their business. The answer simply is that in the 21st century, users are spending more and more time browsing on the internet, searching on their phones, their tablets. They want funny stories, that instant hit of news or product or a service. They want to know that a brand is more than a logo and that there's someone behind that business. It's all about increasing the presence of your brand on the internet. It's about getting the website right, the UX right, the call to actions right, and making sure that the traffic that you are getting to the site is quality traffic looking for your services. A lot of businesses these days know that they have to be doing something with digital marketing, but they perhaps don't know where to start. Somebody could come to us and say, should I be blogging? Yes, you should. Does that mean I don't need video? No, you need video also. Each of the different channels that you could use has an impact on your website's visibility. It's a collaborative approach. Whether that's email marketing, SEO, PPC, um, or social media, and using them in the right way and effectively for the target audience for each kind of channel. If you're not utilising these digital marketing services um, and optimising your website to perform online, you're going to be missing out on a huge portion of the market and the consumers that are browsing online. So that's where Blue Frontier come in and we can help them figure out what's best for their business. SEO is a combination of technical and creative content. A user types in a search term into Google. Google wants to display the best websites that answer that particular search query that the user has used. So it will only show the websites, ideally, that offer the best experience for that user to get what they want. So you basically you want to be in position one. Search engine optimization is about developing your site, um, improving design, UX, user matrix, and marketing the site correctly. And over time, Google measures those signals and therefore rewards you within the search results pages. Um, and once those results are achieved, then it's traffic that can come into your site 24 seven. It's important that you get SEO factored into your website as part of user experience. So you've got to consider what your user wants when they come to your website. They want to be able to find your information easily and quickly. They want it to be informative and relevant to search term they've put into Google. Google offers some really helpful, useful, free tools for businesses that want to get to grips with their SEO. You can use Google Analytics and Google Search Console to monitor your website's health, track your conversions and also monitor site visits. Social media influences your SEO visibility because Google takes into consideration your following on, on social media. I think sometimes social media can drop to the bottom of people's lists. People know that they have to do it and they know it's important, but there's so many other things that people within business have to focus on or that they're doing and quite often they can just think, oh, we'll write the post tomorrow, you know, we haven't got time today. So we have that time we can develop a whole social media strategy for you um, so we can create posts every day um, that is good shareable content that feeds back to your website. It's a bit more refreshing to have someone else I think look after your social media as long as you have an awareness of your core business values and what you want to use social media for. But I think there's a bit more freedom in using kind of a third party to handle your social media like Blue Frontier. Content's a really interesting form of marketing. People think it's just written content on your website. Content could be anything from video, animation, social media, white papers, an infographic, a news article, a blog, a, a vlog. It's kind of anything that you put out there that's a voice for your brand. It's important to vary what the blogs are about. Um, a lot of people like to learn things, so how to's, um, top tips, they love to watch a video. And I think, again, a lot of people don't want to be just sold a product, so they don't want a blog about this wonderful item that you must buy, that you know, kind of need to think about it in a different way and so that it links back to a product, but it's not necessarily a hard sell. PPC is 
instant traffic. You can go straight to the top of Google. So the advantage of pay-per-click is that it will get you additional traffic? You only pay when somebody actually clicks on your advert, but what you're trying to do is increase your search visibility much more quickly than perhaps organic search would allow you to. If you're a small company, I would say really target your keywords. So once you've got it running correctly and optimised, and you know how much your cost per lead is, then you can scale that up for more keywords, more ad groups, or in a larger target radius. Google updates our algorithm, they say about twice a day, um, but big, big core updates uh, maybe once or twice a year. They can be targeting your battling profile, your content, or social signals, and it's important that you've got a dedicated team following Google, following their data, that can act quickly should one of those algorithms affect your site. At Blue Frontier, we have to look into what the algorithm update has entailed and respond and make those changes quickly so that traffic and conversions and overall visibility is not affected by that update. Google has now rolled out its mobile first index. It's going to look at your mobile version first and base your rankings on that site. Really you want your mobile site and your desktop site to be as similar as possible, in t definitely in terms of structure. Our job is to come in, help businesses look at what they're missing on their websites and their other digital marketing efforts and help them go up the rankings so they are being found by those people on page one.